Hello, everyone. We are going to do a portfolio overview today just for you folks that missed it at residency, and then we'll keep this in the lounge to make sure that everyone has it. So you will use your portfolio all throughout your program, unlike other programs at American Sentinel. And that what that means is that you will need to be uploading the assignments that we tell you to into your portfolio account after every course, because you will need to submit your portfolio at the end of your degree, and without it, you won't be able to graduate. And I would say that this is probably the number one thing that students have a problem with when they get close to graduating, is that they have done their final defense, they're all set with everything else, but they forget about the e-portfolio. And there's always a lot of unhappiness when this happens. So we want to make sure that you're aware of where to locate your e-portfolio in Moodle, what you need to upload, and how you submit it when you graduate. So to get to your, the ePortfolio section in Moodle, go to the DMP Lounge. And everything related to the ePortfolio is located in section six of the lounge, right? See where it says ePortfolios? This is where you will locate everything, all right? You can read through all of this when you want, but what we're going to do today is we're gonna look at the um, kind of required documents for the portfolio and how to upload everything. So if you scroll down here to where it says Portfolium, Portfolium is the website that you're gonna use to create your ePortfolio. And there's gonna be two different things that we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the portfolio checklist, which is gonna show us all of the things that we need to upload. And then we're also, when we're done with that, go to portfolio access to set up an account or log in if we already have one. So clicking on portfolio checklist, we see that this checklist has everything that we will need to upload into portfolio once we've created an account, right? So requirement one, you're gonna need a professional photo. Guess what? You just had one of those taken at residency. A bio sketch, students always get confused by this. A bio sketch is just your introduction about who you are, why you're getting your DMP, what you hope to do with your degree. Please don't draw anything. I promise you that that's not what you need to do. And then a resume or CV that you'll upload and I'll show you how to do that in a second. These requirements right here always confuse students, but it's pretty straightforward. Pretty much when you look at every requirement, it's going to be telling you what assignments from what course you need to upload, right? So for N700 PE assignment two, this is gonna be under the leadership skill tag. Again, I'll show you how to tag things later, but assignment two will be the first thing that you need to upload. And since everyone has completed N700 PE, either by taking it at American Sentinel or by transferring it in, this is the first thing you'll really want to do when you're creating portfolio is uploading assignment to going into N700 PE, finding that document and upload it. Again, we'll do the uploading later. I just wanna show you that if you wanna get a head start on your portfolio, and you should, this is a good place to start is opening this checklist and finding assignment two right here. It's also asking for your final project from N761 PE. That's your final course. You don't need to worry about that until the end. Choose one additional course assignment from leadership courses, anything with leadership in the name, that could be any of your specialty courses, uh, N700 PE, whatever it is, just find an assignment and upload it. And then two final PE journals from leadership courses as well, very similar, just what you have uploaded into module eight. And then finally, just write and upload a one, two page reflection on leadership journey as a DMP scholar. How has this degree enabled you to act more like a leader in your, your facility that you work at, right? Um, students always get really confused about what to upload into portfolio when it comes to these assignments. They say, well, I have, you know, do I need to upload a PowerPoint? Do I need to upload my Turnitin rubric? No, you don't need to upload any of those things. As long as you passed the assignment, all you need to upload is the actual Word document of the assignment. So for assignment two, it's just gonna be a Word document just upload that Word document that you submitted that was then graded. You don't need to upload anything from Turnitin. Going down to requirement three, this also confuses a lot of students. You do not need to upload all of these things, right? You just need to find your specialization. So if I'm educational specialization, I will just locate the thing that says educational leadership students only and then I will need to upload the relevant assignments for that specialization. Executive students have the same thing. 
informatics students also have the same thing, and guess what? If you're in professional leadership, you also have the same thing. Just choose a final project from any of the electives that you've taken. Moving down to requirement four, this is something that all specializations need to do. And 725 final project, your two stats final projects, and then one additional course from research methods. Again, you can read this and just find these things as you're going along. Email me if you're having trouble or if you don't understand it and I will explain it to you. And then finally, requirement five. Again, every student will do this. Your final project paper, final project, final PowerPoint will be when you're in N761 PE and you've uploaded proof of final defense. If you've done your final defense after 761 PE, you need to wait to submit your ePortfolio fully, right? Because it's not done. And then finally, Again, this is just a reflection on what you've done in the program. Super easy. Wait until the end to do this, okay? My advice to you when you're doing this is to not wait until your final course to get all of these assignments uploaded because Moodle locks you out of courses that are over a year old after that happens. So if you don't do and you don't upload assignment two from N700 PE and you sleep on it and you wait until the end, you're going to have to email me to get it everyone's going to be unhappy. So please, best practice when it comes to ePortfolio is every single course, go into section six, look at this checklist here and say, what do I need from this course that I can upload so you're not rushing around to do it at the end? Questions about the checklist? You can just give me a ring and let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Okay. Now that we know what we're going to do, we are going to go in and actually create our portfolio account, or if we already have it, just log in. Many of you probably already have it. To get access to portfolio, just click this button here that says portfolio access. <clears throat> if you have an account, you'll enter your email here. If you don't have an account, click on join now. click join, and then you'll be able to enter all of your information. Chances are you created this account already, okay? But if you didn't, just enter all of your email information. Try to use a personal email because sometimes .edu e emails from your work block portfolio. If you're having problems with this, give me an email and let me know. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. As you can see, we already have the American Sentinel logo here, which shows us that we've navigated to the right area. I'm going to click continue, put in my password, hopefully it's correct, it is, thank goodness. And this is what I'm going to see when I'm in Portfolium, right? Like if you've never logged in before, this is what you will see. It's kind of like a ripoff of LinkedIn and Facebook combined, geared towards professional uh, de development and other accomplishments for folks that have been doing different professional things, right? So. What I want to do here right now is I want to learn how to upload something. So I want to upload my first assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my little icon right here. In case you haven't noticed, this is Dr. Woodham in sunglasses, looking great. When I click on my profile icon, it's going to bring me to where I upload everything, OK? And this is where you're going to need to go if you want to upload something for portfolio. So, Remember how we were looking at that checklist and it was showing us things like CV and all of that other stuff? Look, add introduction. This is what your bio sketch is going to be. Um, you can add your resume. You can add your CVs. Work experience goes here. Education goes here. Just by scrolling through, sh you should be able to answer most of your questions about introductions. But with regards to your portfolio things, you're going to click on portfolio right here. And if I've been uploading things, it's going to show all right here, right? These are all of the things that I've been doing. These are all the drafts and, and tests that I did for other students, right? And you notice how I labeled them exactly as they were labeled on the checklist, right? So if we go into the checklist, we see that requirement two is N700 PE, assignment two. Look at this. I e labeled it just like it was in the checklist so that when Dr. Widom goes in to review this, she's not confused. So let's pretend like I've never added anything before, right? This is all blank, and I want to add assignment two. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add New Project. 
and then I'm going to click on upload files because ideally I'm going to have my, my files saved somewhere, right? So we're going to go to upload files and we are going to just pick something, right? We'll do our communication plan. And then it'll upload everything right here. Okay, so now that we've got N700 PE assignment two uploaded, let's say it's la labeled something else, right? Let's say it's not labeled what the checklist is calling it. We can just click this pencil right here. And then we can just do assignment two. There we go, or N700 PE assignment two. So once that's done, we are going to need to describe it, right? This is the assignment two from N700PE, so Dr. Widom knows what it is. Category, remember how I was talking about those tags earlier? When you see the category, you're going to want to go and see what the skill tags are and tag it just like it's written under the requirement. So I know that N700PE is under leadership. We are going to categorize this as leadership. And we're going to do that in a couple of different places. We're going to do it here. See where it says skills. We're going to do it here. Um, teammates, you don't need to add teammates, but just for tags, you're going to do leadership here. OK, I'm not done yet. Even though I've done all of this right here, I need to make sure that my privacy settings are set so that everyone can view it. And this is the biggest problem students have when they go through ePortfolios, right? Is uh, they do not understand that if they've set everything to private, if someone else is trying to go look at it, they won't be able to see it. So to change your privacy settings, you're going to go to this gearbox right here and click on it. And so right now, my visibility or privacy for this document that I've just uploaded is set to connection, so only friends that I have on Portfolio. I can set it to private if I want, but I need to remember that when I go to share this information with Dr. Widom, I need to make sure that this link right here is copied so that I can share it with her. If I don't give her this special link to my portfolio, nothing will happen. She won't be able to see it, and everyone will be unhappy. So if you want it to be private, that's fine remember to save this link to share with Dr. Widom. I'm done. I've set my privacy settings to what I want, and now I can click Publish. Portfolio is going to remind me of what this is. We're going to show that this is assignment two from N700PE. We're going to click Publish Project. Add a project title. I completely forgot about that. Wow, I'm so silly. Obviously, the project title is going to be the same as you see in the checklist, right? And 700 PE assignment to easy for Dr. Widom to view. Publish. Publish project, yes. So now we can see everything, and we're good to go. And then when I scroll down, we'll see that this was just uploaded, and you see the privacy settings here. Good to go, right? Every time you upload something, you're going to be able to see this here, and you'll be good to go. I'm going to show you one more thing before I finish this video, and that is how to submit your ePortfolio at the end of your project, or at the end of your degree. Go back into section six here and scroll up to where you see all of the instructions for how to get started with your ePortfolio. You're going to see this hyperlink that says complete this form. Click on it. And then put in all of your information here. Which ePortfolio system are you using? Obviously, you're using Portfolio. Click on that. And then down here, this is the most important thing. You need to include a link to your ePortfolio. If you're using everything that's private, remember, you need to use that special link that you created to share with Dr. Widom so that when she opens it up, she's going to be able to see everything right here, all right? And then she'll be able to see all of your information. If you don't do this, you're not going to graduate. So it's really important that you remember 
that you need all of this information, that you need the link to your ePortfolio, especially if things are marked private, and that you submit this even if you're done with all of your courses and your final defense. You need to do this or you won't be able to graduate. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, shoot me an email and I will be happy to answer this. Any questions that you have for me. Thanks.